Hello folks, welcome to the first four, the very first four minutes of your sports coverage this week, starting right here, Cinco de Mayo. We'll start off with the Columbia State Community College. Tyler Fullerton's two-run bomb in the seventh gave CSCC the lead. And then it was Wesley Snyder getting out of a huge jam in the ninth to push the Chargers through to the championship round. And in that game, Austin Rice coming in in relief as they battle back from a 4-0 deficit to beat Motlow State 8-4 to be crowned champions of the seventh region. Now the Memphis Grizzlies played in one of the most exciting series in the NBA so far, but fell four to three. They're now eliminated from the playoffs. OKC moves on. Belmont had a three game series with Jacksonville State. They dropped the first two games of the series. The second one, a heartbreaker, but won the third one in convincing fashion. The Bruins are still near the bottom of the OVC. Vanderbilt is now 35-12 after their win against Missouri, the decisive game coming Sunday to take the series over the Tigers. Nashville FC took home the I-65 Cup on Saturday as Mir Pavan scored both goals for NFC in the first half. Their regular season slate starts next Saturday. Their first home game is May 24th. So much high school baseball to go over, a lot of district games, and plenty of good finishes, starting off with Kyle Conger through a no-hitter for Brentwood Academy. And then Brentwood beats Centennial on an extra inning walk-off home run by Corey Bell. Then it was the Cougars who lost another classic game to Indy. That finished 16-14. And for Ravenwood, Bryston, Daniel Freeman both homered to help Ravenwood defeat Summit. And that sets up one of the best matchups all season. Brentwood-Ravenwood, Battle of the Woods to decide who will move on to the District 11 Championships. The winner of that game will have to be beaten twice. So our game of the week, Battleground Academy, Montgomery Bell. This is in the first half. Ball trickling out of the hands of the goalkeeper. And Hunter Tate follows it up to give the Wildcats a 1-0 lead. Taking advantage of the damp surface. And right here, a tip save goes out for a corner. And on that resulting corner, off the dome of Will Emerson, back of the net. We're tied at one. Later on into the second half. Once again, off the post, Curtis Turner. A chance to put the big red up two to one. And then Daniel Brown, a soft touch here, putting it inside the six yard box where it seems to go off an NBA player. The goal would be awarded to Brown and BGA are back on top two to one. And they would put the game away later on. With just a few minutes left, Martin Anderson with the beautiful cross off the right foot of Jim French. It's in the back of the net, and the Wildcats win our game of the week by a final score of 3-1. to one. Now more high school soccer. CPA beat Loretto 6-0. Page defeated Wayne County 8-1. And the most exciting game of the weekend, FRA's matchup with University School of Nashville. After 80 minutes, no one pushed through, but in overtime, both teams scored, including a late equalizer by FRA. After it was all said and done, after no goals and golden goal, the Panthers fell 4-2 in penalty kicks, knocking them out of the district tournament. And that'll do it for this week's first four. Be sure to check back on the site, williamsonsource.com, for more updates, plenty of good games coming up this week in districts for both high school soccer and baseball and softball updates coming on the site as well.